teaching as a profession and uh, vocation uh, it has been uh, debated uh, and has been uh, much uh, deliberations that what is the what is the meaning of the vocation and what is the profession vocation is an activity in which you get uh, involved into for the sake of the earning and you invest your time and the skills and the competencies you deliver something it becomes the vocation but uh, for for carrying out that vocation if you require a longer time and the specific type of the trainings or the education for acquiring those required skills that become the profession and the word the or the term profession has been used widely in the english language and it deno it 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 denotes a uh, different elements or the attributes that are required from an individual those are uh, many years of the preparations for the profession you need many years for the preparations for example if you are going to be the teacher you are now required to uh, to to have um, degree of uh, bachelor of education or bs education if you become um, the doctor that is a profession you require mb you require mbbs degree if you are going to be the engineer you requires bachelor degree in engineering and then uh, striving for excellence in the profession there is always struggle for the excellence because the more struggle the more excellence in your uh, skills and the competencies and the behaviors the better will be the reputation and the results and then the dedication to the public interest how one is uh, serving and addressing the public interest for how for example if i am teacher uh, uh, my 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 students are the leaders i assume my students are the leaders of tomorrow and the my uh, my nation my community my society needs proper well qualified people or the youth so that they should lead uh, the nation tomorrow they should be the proper uh, and the relevant people and the different fields in the society that it becomes the public interest and as far as the medical doctor is con- concerned the he or she should be more uh, professional having more excellence in the profession so that any patient any person goes and trusts trusts have trust on him or her then he is uh, serving to that with the cause of the public a uh, service to the society and for the public interest and the commitment to the moral and ethical values because the every profession has moral and ethical values for example uh, if you have a problems and you consult the doctor medical doctor there are many things that you may not be sharing with uh, any of the persons except the doctors and you are supposed you are required to share it with the doctor otherwise you will not be properly uh, dealt with and you will not be properly diagnosed as far as your disease is concerned therefore you are you are bound to share your secrets and the, your problems of your disease etc and that as a professional the d- medical doctor is bound to maintain the secrecy of uh, your personality this is the ethical and the moral values of uh, the profession and there are two contexts that are profession and the professional the profession as we discussed that is uh, like the medical medicines and the law and the engineering etc and the professional is just for uh, the amateur such as the fields of the inter- entertainment and the sports in the field of the, the sport and the entertainment fields they are also the profession pro, uh, they are profession but the people are called professionals because they are falling in other can, categories they are not the profession but they are um, the term is uh, professional the framework of a profession tends to include payment and the profession you for example you are a teacher you get the payment of your services you are doctor you are engineer you are getting the payment 
and that is also there when the vocation but for the profession that is closely linked with the profession the better the professional the more the remuneration the concept of the profession that emerges from this emerges from a sociological legal and the sociological standpoint standpoint that is characterized on expertise a professional should have expertise the professional should have governance autonomy and accountability these are the four important elements that are the attributes that are essential that are indispensable for a professional for a profession and a scholarly what is the scholarly profession it is an occupation with the attributes of the profession whose core activity is the advancement of the knowledge a scholarly profession one has to have for example professor university professor college professor or even the teacher has to advance has to improve his knowledge and the academic profession is the scholarly a subset is uh, is, is is falling under the category of the profession uh, scholarly profession and uh, with the academic appointment in the institution of higher education teaching is also considered as a profession because it is uh, for the teacher the teacher is bound to have a commitments to the moral and ethical values um, because the teacher has to show moral and ethical values if with any for any activity for any vocation if there is the moral and the ethical values there then it becomes a profession and uh, do you think what do you think the for the teaching is not aligned with uh, moral and uh, ethical values yes it is it is mostly aligned with the moral and the ethical values and the teaching is that's why the teaching is considered considered as the noblest profession and uh, as a teaching as a profession it requires the standard of morality uh, what is the etymology of vocation basically it uh, this word is a latin word which means uh, from it comes from the vocare which means to call vocation is a strong um, feelings of the suitability of the particular career of the occupation uh, for example when if you say that this person has an aptitude to become an architect to become a lawyer to become a mason etc then you have to um, see that uh, what kind of the career one should opt for teaching as a vocation yes it is vo vocation initially vocation and then becomes the profession because where there is the career choice what 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 should be the career it is a complete full fledged career it, it it has that because in the in the vocation you have to play the different roles to view teaching as a vocation uh, then it is required to have a no, uh, with knowledge to call the serve the others through the means of education and learning through the vocation you serve on the basis of your vocation uh, vocation is also based with your learning but it is not as professional requirement that of the professional degrees lawyers medical medical fields etc uh this uh, uh, the um, the framework of the vocation uh, implies a personal commitment because it is focused on the call uh, on a call and the aspect of the services um, um, on call, there are many services that are available on call um, for, for 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 example if you call any uh, any food supplier and an individual comes and uh, delivers the food to at your doorsteps this is service and this is a vocation consequently to think teaching in these terms if you think that the teaching is also availability on the call uh, to uh, the role of the teaching itself is uh, to be engaged in and by 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 its the role as a default because the teacher is also available not in similar way as you call to the as as a shopkeeper for or the vendor to provide you any kind of the services but the teacher is available for the specific services as required in in one or other way it's your call uh, it is uh, the teaching as a vocation is grounded in the humanistic world view 
uh, and, and and for from that word view from that philosophical point of view um, the teaching is aligned with the services is the teaching not service if yes it means that teacher is providing a service and service is to, is aligned with the of the call availability whenever it is required then it becomes the vocation the focus of conceptualizing how you concept conceptualize teaching as a vocation is more on students for whom teaching activities are carried out uh, then on the teachers because you serve the students you are, if you look from the point of view of the students it becomes the profession it becomes the vocation because the students are getting your services and if you look at the teachers point of view the lenses of the teachers it becomes the professional aspect if we look at the teaching as a profession or the professional or the vocation that the, is it loving concerns of the one's students then yes the teacher has loving concern for the students clarity and the patience and there is a personal commitment and assume as a teaching role out of services and selflessness and choices these are the attributes which indicates the parameters which show the parameters of the vocation as well as as a professional that's why a teacher who practices teaching as his vocation responds to strong feeling or calling for services teacher provides the services to the students just like holistic biblical figures with utmost dedication a uh, teaching may not be a lucrative position but this is considered throughout the world that there is not uh, having a huge amount you are learning and that's why uh, it is called as the service service to the society service to the community it even means investing your personal time energies and resources it is, it is dedication you serve the community uh, sometimes it means disappointment heart aches and the pains because you are not getting more in terms of the money you are not not earning money uh, but by touching the hearts of the people and opening the minds of your children or the students can give you joy you enjoy your life and contentment with the money that could you cannot buy through the money and that the joy that you get you attain through services could be the could be more than if you want to have joy through purchasing something there are the moments i teach for these are the moments i live for this is the quotation of the jcity in 2013